Hi, welcome. This is episode seven of Mike's Munchy Mayhem. Say it with me. Mm, mm, mm. One more time. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I really appreciate it. Okay, when you do that, my heart just swells. And so um, if this is your first time here, my name is Mike and I'm the host of Mike's Munchy Mayhem. And this is where I review like snacks and food and stuff. And, um, and I let you know what I think about it. So before we start, I have to say a super special thanks to uh, Michael Martinez, my favorite flute player. Um, I saw him a few days ago and he gave the suggestion of why not also use like instrumental music if something tastes like an instrument or like a chamber orchestra or, you know, something different, right? And so I was like, yeah, that's such a great idea. So in this episode, I'm going to try and in next episode so if i'm compelled to say that this tastes more like a flute than an alto um you know i'll do it and so thank you mike for that uh for the suggestion okay so um yeah let's try stuff okay so the first thing i'm gonna try oops sorry for moving my chair the first thing i'm gonna try is this thing called Foco. Uh, it's from Foco. It's called the Basil Seed Drink. And I got this at H Mart and it was 99 cents. Okay, so let's start. And like by looking at it, it kind of sets off that little phobia of things that look kind of uniform and gross. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, it's cute. There's like this little lemon thing, but well, see, it's also in Spanish. Bebida de semilla de albahaca. I don't know if you're supposed to pronounce the H. I'm so sorry. Um, so it says it's made of water, citric basil seed, 10%, artificial cream soda flavor, citric acid, and acidity regulators. I don't know what that means, but we'll see. Okay, so I have my little little um beaker thing that i got from mida like or april forgot sorry like bajillion of years ago so thank you for the present um so i guess i'm gonna try to finish this well see i don't know it looks really weird so oh okay so it's a it's a can it looks okay it looks cute whatever let's try it Ooh. okay that does not smell pleasant. Okay. It looks like little tadpoles. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you can taste the cream soda. Um, I mean, it has, when you chew on the little seeds, the seeds have like some kind of like gelatinous thing around it. So it's kind of like almost like little tiny crispy bobas, or no, that's wrong. It's like, it's, I don't know, look, they just, they just, they just hang there. Anyways, you can taste the cream soda. And when you chew on it, it's okay. Oh man, I don't know about this, but we're gonna keep going. Okay, so, um, okay, this, I don't know. This kind of reminds me of something I do not like listening to, um, but it's still intense. Maybe some kind of like, I don't know, it's just, it sounds like something that would sound really good, but then you have this really shrill instrument that's just like, okay, I guess. Mm. Okay, well, this is gonna be my choice of drink for the next two things I'm gonna review. Um, did I say everything I wanted to say about it? I mean, oh man. When you don't drink any of this stuff, it's cream soda, yeah. 
But these basil seeds are like, oh, looks like little tadpoles. Me. Okay. So the next thing I will be trying, um, this is um a suggestion. So a special thanks to the Silva family. Um, I got a picture a few, no, probably a week or so ago of my of my goddaughter, Miss Layla Michelle, um, holding these things called the cream wafers, and um. Yeah, it's durian flavor. So if you know what durian is, it's um, it's a tropical fruit that tastes supposedly really good, but smells kind of weird. So we'll see how this tastes like. Um, they tasted it and they said it tasted okay. And um, I've never had the real durian fruit, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so the packaging looks okay. I got this one at uh, Tokyo. No, just kidding. I got this at HK Mart, a Hong Kong Plaza down there, down the street. And I got it for around 2 to $4. <clears throat> it was really, really cheap. So anyways, let's try this. Uh, yeah. okay. Oh my. Oh no, I broke the thing. Oh no. Holy crap! Sorry. Oh dear me. Right away, you smell the durian like... It, the, durian doesn't smell like feet. It smells more like the, the gym socks that's sweaty and that have been in your like thing for a while. It kind of smells like, like the locker rooms at a gym. Ooh. It's weird because you can since it has like it's packed in a wafer so you get this sweet wafer smell Ooh, so it's really sugary but then it's like bam what is this oh man okay so it looks like this it looks like a nail file wafer durian's in there so let's try it <laughs> this is gross to me this is gross this is gross like you know when you like when people say when you smell something it's like eating it you know and initially I was like okay maybe the flavor is gonna be like mmm and that maybe the wafer is gonna be like mmm but you know what's happening right now it's aerating grossness in my mouth Oh, dear me. I should probably drink it with the basil seeds. Okay, I'm gonna finish up. My dear lord. Oh, huh. If I had to say this was something musical. Oh, man. It kind of, it feels... It feels very Asian in a sense that I feel like it's like these open chords and stuff like that, you know? But then you have like, you know, some kind of like, so, I don't know. Okay. If you live local to me or you know me and you want to try these, or you want them, you're welcome to have them all. Anyways, um, they're totally worth a try. This is totally worth a try. Would I reach for these? No, I don't think so. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna review today, and kid you not, this is kind of exciting because this is the title of this food, okay? It's called the Mecha Supa Mucho Soupy Vinegar Fried Potato Chips. Yeah, right? And so when I was walking through Tokyo Central, and this is by Kokea, 
Um, I saw this for a dollar fifty, and I was like, oh, this kind of looks really cute. And so this character, um, I'm not sure, but it looks similar to the other line of chips that are hot chili flavored. And so I was like, okay, maybe we'll try this. It looks like it's a 25 year special thanks kind of thing. I can't read the Japanese. Um, but I thought it was really cute. Look at that right there with the bell and its face. Can you see that? Let's see it. Anyways. So I'm excited. The packaging, of course, is really cute. I mean, it just like, bam, you know? Um, mecha, I think. Hmm. So let's try it. I hope it's some kind of good. But it looks like it might be super vinegary. Hmm. Okay, right away, it it does smell like salt and vinegar chips. And it doesn't smell that abrasive actually. So maybe maybe the hype's not as, you know, so we'll see. Man, I saw that durian flavor in my mouth. Hold on. No no no. No, I have to drink this. I can't even look at it. It grosses me out. Mm. Okay. Mm. Ugh. Whoa. These are really vinegary. Like I've had salt and vinegar chips, like like at Starbucks or whatever, or you know, just the small little this one's way intense. Cute, see? Okay, normal potato chip. It's so unassuming, like really unassuming. Mm. It tastes good. To me, this is like all brass, like brass. Vinegar, to me, tastes so brassy. It tastes good. I feel like I shouldn't have too much of it, but this is totally a chaser to this stupid durian thing. Not stupid, sorry. Oh man, it's most. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, this is totally worth a shot or worth a try. Mmm, I like it. Mmm, yeah, it tastes like it tastes like a nice little brass quintet or something. Just playing something light. It was really good. Uh, you should try this. Dollar fifty, totally worth. Totally worth it if you love vinegar. And I say good job to this brand. Yeah. Okay, so um, I think that was it. Did I miss anything? Um, no. So like a few sneak peeks of things I'm gonna try. Um, <gasps> there's this peel fried egg chips. Eventually, I'm gonna eat these. Um, and then I have a few other mayhemish things. Really though, look at this, look at this. I can't, I can't. Um, but these totally saved me. Um, anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, click like and subscribe and please share. Sharing's like the best way to to, to support me so then it reaches other people and stuff like that and um, I have a few concerts coming up soon and I'm excited for like new opportunities that are happening soon so I'll keep you guys updated oh also follow my Instagram at kut3pnymik3 cute pinoy mic um, I also post other Munchie Mayhem stuff in there um, when I'm out to restaurants or whatever I do some weird things with food so my Instagram and my Facebook or, you know, or not Facebook, my YouTube are trying to be like this. And then my Facebook, of course, is telling you guys when I post stuff. But anyways, um, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And, um, oh, give me suggestions for an ending tag because I don't know how to end this thing, okay? So, peace out and, um, I'll see you guys soon. Try everything if you want, if you dare. Ooh. I'm burping up durian flavor burp.